Come on in, everybody. I don't have my uh, iPod. It's still charging. I forgot about it, but here I am. And I have a running a little late because I couldn't get my phone to work. So we'll see. I had to turn the Wi-Fi off. I had to do lots of things. So let's see if this works. I got to touch my nose right here. Leanne and I have been brainstorming in Messenger all morning about the new book. We've come up with some new chapters. It's kind of fun. I'm telling you, this is, this is, I have written some fun books before, but being able to bounce off of Leanne and us build this book together has just been powerful, powerful, powerful. So I have a second cup of coffee this morning and you know what coffee is good for? Coffee gets us moving in more ways than one. Yeah. If you've been stove up, drink a cup of good old strong black coffee and you won't be for very long. Anyway, here's to having fun with friends and watching Leanne's watching right now, but I got on a shirt. I put this shirt on. I almost gave this shirt away uh, back in the winter. I mean, this denim shirt. Now, I love denim shirts. Don't get me wrong. I love denim shirts. And I especially love this denim shirt because it's got a flag on it. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. But look at here. It's hanging way off my shoulders. And the arms of it, they are getting to be too long for me. But it's my, it's my daytime shirt. It's my fun shirt, and I like to wear it. And eventually, it'll just be too big that I can't. I see it too big. I see it way too big. I, I, Leanne said, you got to have a vision. And I, yep, I have a vision, all right. I see this thing hanging off of me and I have to get rid of it, but I want to find me another one just like it because I like this flag on my shirt. It makes me happy. Anyway, but I know how to take things up and I could alter it if I needed to. I really could. <laughs> I don't want to, but I could. I could reset the sleeves. When do I leave to go see my nephew? Well, I don't really get to see him. I will be leaving tomorrow morning, bright and early, and I'll try to get to my sister's house. So things are good. Things are really good. Uh, yesterday, uh, I talked to Ben, and he said his boss gave him the day off. So it's always good to get a day off on Friday, and it? it just makes the weekend longer. And his boss gave him a day off, and he and his buddy, who who both do peer counseling, they decided to use that day to take care of themselves. So they started the morning at eight o'clock out in the yard in grass doing uh, meditation and grounding themselves with bare feet on the grass and um, some simple yoga poses. Ben doesn't know much about yoga. I don't know about much, but I have a yoga mat that I've never used. So maybe I need to start practicing a little, a little stretching exercises because when you get stove up in your muscles, you are messing with, you're messing with a lot of things. Your equilibrium, when your, your muscles, oh, do I have anything right here? Your muscles are just kind of like rubber bands and they expand and contract with your movements. But if they're too tight, you can't move well if they're too tight. Uh, Krista, if, uh, since you're, an, yes, Leanne and I, since summer, since June 1st, Leanne surprised me at my house. I'll give you a little update on that. Leanne surprised me at my house. The whole team was in on it. Even Robert was in on it, but I didn't know she was, uh, she was going to come and I'm doing a show outside on my back deck and all of a sudden, and I've got the front door open and the back door open. The breeze is blowing through my house and there walks up Leanne, my best friend. She lived in Colorado at the time in Boulder and oh my goodness, 
I was blown away and the video shows it. It's, it was like May the 28th or something like that. You can go see it. You can go see it. And it was just blown away. And we realized, it, we realized how much we missed each other. Because she used to live in Charlotte and we would get down to up or down to see each other uh, or over left and right <laughs> to see each other. You know, every six months or so, we would do that. Um, it wasn't a big deal uh, because I knew she was just in Charlotte, but then she moved to Colorado and then it was just hard, 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 hard. So she and she flew home. I mean, she had a decent flight. She could fly back and forth for like $238 to Boulder. I mean, to Denver, $238 fly back and forth. And we could have, we had this book idea came up while she was here. She was here for three days and we had uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner practically together. And it's, um, it was just fun. And all of a sudden she says, you know, I think I want to move here. I think I want to move here. And I said, but you can fly back and forth and flying is really hard on us. It's, it's really difficult. It is. And she said, I know, but I'm feeling like I want to move. And Leanne can talk about this at her show at one o'clock. And she started plotting and scheming and she asked Mark about it. And you know, before you knew it, it was July the 17th and they had moved here in six weeks. In six weeks. And they had a vacation in the meantime. They moved here. And now they live, as the crow flies, two miles right there. Takes us 15 minutes to get to their house because they're on top of the mountain and there's a lot of curves. But wow. And, you know, we could have been brainstorming like this on, on the internet through Facebook Messenger. She would have been two hours behind me. Now we're on the same schedule. We are on the same wavelength. Literally on the same wavelength. It is just crazy. Well, I've tried to set the thing. My, my Wi-Fi is turned off because something wasn't working this morning. So I am only using my cell signal right now. So that could be the issue, but we're, we're fine with it. It won't, if you watch this afterwards, it won't be a problem. And I keep having to flip things out of the way with my little magic wand, Robert made me. So the beautiful part of all of this is we are, are in sync again. Have you lost touch with, touch with friends? Friends that make you a better person? Not friends that bring you down. Friends that make you a better person. And having a person in your life that lifts you up and supports you when you need it. I mean, last week, last Saturday, Leanne brought me all kinds of food. When we went to the fair last weekend, they brought a, a laundry basket full of food for me to do the hot melt sprint with. A laundry basket full. There was hot melt soup. There were entrees. There were protein pieces. You know, the trifecta. We got to have a trifecta on our plate every time we eat. You need a little fat. You need a little protein. You need a little fiber. All this stuff. And... She brought me enough food for a week and for Robert too. Now he won't eat it because he's, he, he doesn't need to lose weight. And so he's just, he said, don't worry about me. I'll take care of me. You just do what you got to do. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so folks, we've been doing the hot melt sprint and go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint if you want to check it out get signed up for leanne's emails 
and you will really benefit from it, just like I have. I mean, her book, Saving Dinner Low Carb, was written for me. I think she even dedicated it to me because she developed that low carb way of eating before low carb was a thing. Because my doctor said you can only have 30 grams of carbs a day. And I don't think we're even doing that with the hot melt sprint. I really don't think we're doing 30 grams of carbs a day. But I haven't tried to figure it out yet. But Leanne knows because she's done this before with people. So folks, let's drink up. No pudding in my coffee. And, and pudding is putting cream and sugar to the point that you, you got pudding coffee. We've done away with the pudding coffee. I am seeing lots of ways people are noticing the difference in their bodies. Their leggings are looser. They've had to put their bra on with a little tighter cinch on it. It's amazing. It, it, it really is. It, it just... I am blown away by how this hot melt sprint works. Now we're getting our flights in and we're doing our four minute workout. And if, if, and it's a low impact workout, do a, do a Google search on four minute workout and Zach Bush, Dr. Zach Bush on YouTube. And you can find the four minute workout and you can do it with them. And once you get it in your head, you can do it all by yourself. And it's, I, I like to name the things like no jump jumping jacks, no jump. It's, it's low impact stuff. So you're doing jumping jacks, but you're doing them by hitting your, your fists together at the top and the bottom, do it 20 times. And then you do a, I call it a robot dance. You come back to level and you do this 20 times. Uh, let's see. What's the other one? Um, a prayer, sending prayers up to heaven, do round circles with your arms, and then there is um, the go me. You're doing high fives up in the air, go me 20 times. So you see, it's really is fun. And people are doing it all over the world. All over the world, they're doing this four minute workout. Think about the pudding. Now, somebody yesterday put a sprinkle of cinnamon in their coffee, and they really did like it. And cinnamon is good. Is a good. I don't know what cinnamon does for you, Leanne. But what, think about it. if you like pumpkin spice stuff, get a little canister of pumpkin spice for your pumpkin pies. It. it you can get it. It's McCormick. And sprinkle some of that in your coffee. You don't have to have the pudding stuff. You don't have to have all that cream and sugar. And even fake cream and fake sugar is worse than the real thing. So come up with great ways to indulge. Now, I've been listening to Scott Adams for almost two years. And this guy hasn't been able to hear for the last six weeks or so. He's lost his hearing um, in one ear. He uh, 12 years ago, he lost his, his taste and um, smell. So, folks, he went to the doctor when he lost his hearing because this, you know, just three senses gone is awful. He had lost his voice in the past and he got that back. Found out he had polyps in his eustachian tube and they were getting in the way of things. And this morning he said, I love the smell of coffee. So being able to enjoy all your senses with a cup of coffee in your hands and our cup of tea or whatever you're doing, it whatever you're putting into your body has to bless your body. For me, coffee's a blessing. It helps you poop. 
It helps you uh, get excited about the morning. It, it, it's togetherness. Uh, Leanne and I enjoy knowing we're having coffee together. Scott Adams and all the people that watch him do the simultaneous sip. So it's it's all about togetherness and and community, pretty much community. It may be glitchy today because I'm just on on um, Wi-Fi. I'm, not, I'm just on my cell signal, but just deal with it. It'll be okay in the recording that goes. Uh, it goes better. Coffee is a ritual. Yep, it's fun. So today is family fun day. What are you doing with your family today? Um, we still have one more day of the fair. I'm not going back to the fair. I had one day and it's good. It's all good. And Leanne and I have been brainstorming this morning. Brainstorming brainstorming imagine that brainstorming this new book and you are going to love it I'm gonna grab everything we've talked about we're gonna put it in a document and we're gonna use that as part of our outline because we've come we looked at each other this morning not physically looking at each other but we thought about our whole lives you know, my son just turned 45. Do you know what I weighed when Justin was born? They put you on a scale when you walk in the hospital. I weighed 162 pounds when Justin was born. That's 45 years ago. 162 pounds. So Monday morning, I weighed 260 pounds. That's 100 pounds of weight to my body. When I got pregnant with Justin, I weighed 125 pounds. Can you do that timeline for yourself? And then fill, is there an update? On, no update on Ben yet. And then fill in the blanks. You know, fill in the blanks when you got pregnant. You know, in this timeline, so mine was from 1974 to 2019, 45 years, and just start filling in your timeline. The things that happened, the ups, the downs, happy times, bad times. And Leanne's going to talk more about it at um, one o'clock. But I started filling in my timeline and I can see where the weight started to happen just by remembering, just by remembering. You don't have to pull out your calendars, which I've got mine for the last 15 years. But all you got to do is just think about it. Think about your timeline and how food has been involved in that timeline. And we're even coming up with a bunch of, if any of you watch NCIS, you know Jethro Gibbs has his rules. Rule number nine, go, don't go anywhere without a knife. <laughs> so there's some fun rules and he makes rules up on the way uh, along the way and he adds them to his list so we're coming up with some fun rules to scatter throughout the book things that are going to stick like crazy and guess what doing that timeline is going to be a switch for you A switch you're gonna recognize what you've been doing with food and you know you might be a perfectionist you might be a perfectionist if you do certain things well you could also have a problem with um, hoarding food you might be a food hoarder if you <laughs> get this this is the one I came up with if you wait for somebody to leave the house before you eat something, that you wouldn't eat it in front of them. Hmm. Think about wanting to go to the grocery store by yourself so you can get a little snacky poo. 
Think about planning your tip trip around around fast food joints. Yep. Think about these things. How we eat in secret. This is this is a an interesting aspect of what we've done to ourselves. Everything that goes in our mouth has to meet this trifecta. This the trifecta smoothie Leanne made. If you look on her YouTube page, you'll see her smoothie or on her Facebook page. You'll see her smoothie recipe. There is a fat and a protein and a fiber. These three things. When we fix our plates at night for our dinner, it, we need to meet that trifecta on that plate. Separately, not in a smoothie, but separately. That trifecta has to be met. And that trifecta does not include garbage. Yes, garbage. Doesn't include it. So what are you slipping in your mouth that you're hiding from somebody? You know, is it M&M's? Is it mac and cheese? Is it pasta? Is it candy bars hidden in a drawer? You do not have to be tempted by those anymore because you have the switch right here. The switch. Switch. Yes, garbage. We don't have to do this to ourselves ever again. You know, one of the rules we were going to make is don't eat anything out of a bag. Rule number 15, don't eat out of a bag. You're not a horse. Think about it. These are simple little rules. They're funny rules. Funny sticks. Flip the switch. Yep. So here's to finding your switch. Maybe you got to do your timeline and look and see how you've gone from your weight at 18 years old to today and what has happened along the way and how food plays a process through it all. Everybody has to eat. It's not like you're an alcoholic and you can never take another drink again. You've got to eat to stay alive. So we have to put things in our mouth that will fuel our body. What Leanne said this the other day on a show and I thought it was marvelous. She has a diesel car. She can't put gas in her diesel car. She has to put diesel in her diesel car. If she puts regular gas in her car, she's going to ruin her engine. What are you doing to your engine? What are you doing? What are you putting in your engine? And people on the Hot Melt, Melt Sprint group, they are seeing some amazing results. Last night I made a post because the one thing that has blown me away through this whole thing is that I really do like broccoli sprouts. They're really good. I really do like broccoli sprouts. And I got to thinking, I like mustard greens too, so maybe I'll do some mustard green sprouts. And I could do broccoli sprouts and mustard green sprouts and radish sprouts and green onion sprouts. And by golly, I got my favorite food in the whole wide world. Wilted salad. I could even let the mustard greens grow a little bit and have salad greens. But putting a bite of broccoli sprouts in my body is a superfood. Superfood. So think about everything that goes in your mouth has to bless your body. You know, when we declutter, we hold something up and say, does this bless me? Okay, let me hold my little teapot up. Does this teapot bless me? 
Well, I hadn't used it in many years. It's got a little crack in it. But guess what? I found a new use for it. I use it for my daily topics for tea time. Daily topics for tea time. I don't have to declutter it because I found a new use for it. It's a visual. It's tea time. Everything that goes in your body has to bless you. And it has to meet part of the trifecta. Is it food? Is it fiber? Is it protein? Food, fiber, and fat. Yeah, is, it, is there a good fat in there? Not a bad fat. A good fat. So y'all, we can make us, we can, we can flip the switch when we know to do better. What my Angelo said, and everybody has paraphrased it. When we know to do better. We can. It's all right here. All right here. All right here. We can flip the switch. Knowing is being mindful of what you're doing to yourself. Recognizing these signs along the way. Are you eating in secret? Are you hiding food? Are you planning trips, uh, you know, to the grocery store just to get snacks that nobody's going to know about? Are you eating those snacks on the way home so the kids don't know? Are you standing up while you're eating? We have to be mindful when we put food in our bodies. We have to be mindful. So folks, we've got a lot to think about and Leanne and I are going to put it in one book between two covers so that you'll have it all together. And every page on this book is going to change your life. I feel it. And I believe with all my heart that I haven't been able to lose weight until now because this book was supposed to be written. Yep. My sister always said, God has a plan for you in this weight. <laughs> and I believe it's here. I really believe it's here. This book is going to be an amazing journey for me. This book is going to help you to conquer the things that you never thought about before. We're going to help you recognize and that recognition is the first step. That's when the, it gets in here and you get to flip this switch. Because when I realized that insulin was helping me to hold on to my fat and it was storing more fat, that my blood, we grow our own bro broccoli sprouts. You get some seeds, they're on Amazon. You get a lid for a jar. You put, rinse them and put them in this jar with some water and in a few days they sprout. But think about it. We can make a change. The recognition of this insulin. I mean, I tested my blood sugar this morning. I was down. And one of the members in, in the hot sprint melt group, they call themselves melters. <laughs> because they're seeing things. Look at this. They're seeing things melt away on their body. They're feeling their skin get looser because the inflammation is gone. I have toes. Last night I had ankles. I had ankle bones on my feet. I didn't take a picture of them, but I was blown away that I could see my ankle bone. So <laughs> sprouts are superfood. Think about seeds being a superfood too. Putting things in our body, this trifecta, they have to meet. Is it a protein? Is it fiber? Is it fat? Good fat. And you're going to be blown away. Absolutely blown away.
by the difference. And cutting back on dairy, that's part of what this week is all about. And every zone two that we're going to be in for the rest of my life, we're going to talk about the hot melt sprint. Because we need, what has happened to us when we look at our timelines, when we look at our timelines of when we were 18 years old to now, when we look at that timeline, we're going to recognize we never reset ourselves. You know how you have to reset your phone every once in a while? You have to turn your phone off and start back over? We've never done that. So once a month, and once a month, we're going to reset ourselves. We're going to go back to our foundation of food that is that equals fat, a good fat, fiber, and protein. We're going to eliminate the garbage. We're going to get the movement in because that's part of this, going up and down our flights and, and doing our four-minute workout. These things are our foundation. And when we can come back to them every month and reinforce this foundation, it's going to, it's going to stay contagious to the rest of the month. We're, we're doing it. We're going to do the sprint every month in zone two. We haven't named the book yet. We're calling it Body Clutter Wisdom as a working title right now, but we don't know what the title is going to be. That's the last thing you do is name the book. Last thing you do. First thing you do is start writing. And we figured out a way to do it with our phones. Yep. We're speaking it into our phones, each section, each little chapter. It's crazy, but you know, it's a fun kind of crazy. I love you all. I'll see you at three o'clock. I don't have a topic for our, our little um, daily message, but I'll come up with something. I have a list of things, but they're printed on the back and the front and I can't get my stuff to print. Our printer's messing up, so I got to work on that. You know, my granny always said, can't never could do anything. We have to be open for change. Open. You know, a switch is just an open and closed circuit. That's all it is. We have to be open for change. My switch is turned on. I am ready. Are you with me? I feel like I'm giving an invitation, uh, an invitation him here. We're going to take care of this temple that is our body. We are going to love ourselves. And Leanne and I are thinking about doing a video together when I get back from the parole hearing. Say a prayer for Benjamin uh, when I get back from the parole hearing where we're going to put together a week's worth of meals for the hot for the hot melt sprint and we're going to do it we're going to do it we do not have to live in this prison any longer i'm uh, leanne said this is so weird you're going to a prison to a parole hearing for benjamin and we ourselves have been in this garbage prison. We've been in the carb prison. So let's think ourselves out of this prison. Let's do this. We can do this. Can't never could do anything. We can do this. It's happening. I put my, last Monday, I put my scale in a paper bag and wrote my measurements and my weight on the front of this paper bag. And then I put my laundry hamper on top of it. Because I didn't want to be reminded that I was supposed to weigh. <laughs> and I don't want to, I'm going to weigh in the morning. I'm going to, I'm going to go off of the hot melt sprint because when I travel, you're sitting for long periods of time, I'm used to getting up every 15 minutes. So I'm going to weigh in the morning. I'm going to give my weigh in in the morning. The hot melt sprint doesn't cost a thing, not a dime. 
We're doing it every month on the hot melt sprint. Not a dime. And it's going to be your foundation. Foundation. And we're going to come back to our foundation. Every month. I got a, a, a testimonial this morning from somebody who said she had a dream about fly lady stuff last night. And, and she dreamed she got some purple lace-up shoes. And it had some kind of wings with it. But anyway, yes, you need organic seeds to sprout. Organic seeds. And you can get them by the pound on Amazon. By the pound. Three pounds, two pounds. I ordered, uh, I ordered last night broccoli. No, I ordered green onion and mustard green and radishes last night. That's my favorite salad. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. Yep. So join it with us. Mine ends. I still keep doing it, but I'm doing my way in on, on six days, not seven. But that's okay. So here's to me. Here's to you. We can do this. I love you all. See you at one o'clock on Leanne's show, and then I'll see you at three. Leanne's show ought to be good after our brainstorming this morning. Ready, set, go.